helping make your life easier. Moms Every Day. Good afternoon, I'm Katie Wilson with Moms Every Day. And today we've got Dr. Matthew Bullock with Cabell Huntington Hospital. Thanks for being here. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, so uh, you are an orthopedic surgeon. We always love having doctors on the show just to learn from your expertise and some of the, the better treatment options out there. But just to start, let's just talk about some of the conditions that you treat as an orthopedic surgeon. Absolutely. I'm one of the joint replacement surgeons at Cabell Huntington Hospital, and I primarily deal with uh, any type of hip or knee path pathology, anything that would be like uh, osteoarthritis, uh, post-traumatic arthritis. We do primary and revision or redo joint replacement surgery. Okay, so uh, just tell me, why did you decide to go into this field? Um, I really like helping people yeah. uh, and be able to have an immediate impact on how these people recover, especially after a joint replacement. It's amazing. They wake up after surgery, their pain is gone, and they're walking almost normal mm -hmm. after, right after surgery. And, you know, I, I even work with some people who have some of those issues and stuff. So it, I totally know what you're saying when, when people who do end up getting that surgery, it's like night and day the next day. Right. It has such an incredible impact. Um, there's also robotic surgery mm -hmm. now. Is that correct? Yeah, correct. Correct. Um, the hospital and uh, our division uh, purchased a new robot which helps us perform hip and knee replacement surgery uh, more accurately and precisely. Uh, it allows us to, in a sense, customize the surgery to fit the patient's anatomy the best, giving them the best implant so it'll last uh, as long as we can get it uh, with that patient. Interesting, so Cabell Huntington has that. Correct, Okay. they're already using it. Yeah. Um, tell me, when, when did they get that? Uh, it's been about uh, eight weeks ago. Okay, so it's, it's recent. Correct, recent, yes. Awesome. So have you been able to use it yeah. since with patients? We've used it on about 25 uh, or so cases, uh, and the results have been phenomenal. Uh, patients report less pain, uh, easier, faster recovery. Uh, we look at it from our perspective. We're able to get them moving and mobilized a lot quicker as well. Awesome. What has been the response from patients? Because I feel like it'd be a 50-50, uh, you know, one side people may think, you know, robots, I guess that's more accuracy, but yes. then again, taking it out of the doctor's hands, they right. might be a little, you know, concerned going right. in. We look at the robot as a tool to help us perform surgery. The, uh, th the surgeon's in control of, of the robot at all times. We use it to plan and kind of program the cutting uh, end of the actual robot to position it in a certain position so when it makes a cut it's precise accurate and the implants fit the patient like a glove so we're in complete control okay and does it take a special type of training i'm sure to be able to you know operate this yeah all of the joint replacement surgeons at Cabell, uh, we all went through extensive training on uh, how to use the robot troubleshoot uh, and uh, use it during our uh, everyday joint replacement uh, surgeries. Okay, um, so again, as a joint replacement surgeon, we're talking mostly hips and knees. Hip and, mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Hip and okay. knee replacement. Well, I'm sure there are plenty of viewers out there who may be experiencing some of these issues. Mm -hmm. If they want to see you, um, where do they start? Absolutely. Um, our offices are at Cabell Huntington Hospital, and we also have our uh, new office uh, in uh, Taze Valley, uh, right off the interstate, um, and we're seeing patients at uh, both locations. Okay. And again, uh, just to clarify, you are just surgeon, right? Would you see someone if they didn't need that procedure? Correct. We would still see patients with hip and knee pain, hip okay. and knee problems. We, uh, we actually look at them and evaluate them if they're a good surgical candidate. Okay. Uh, so we have about a minute left. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you want our viewers to know about you as a surgeon in this area? Yeah. Um, I am from West Virginia. I'm from the northern panhandle in uh, Brook County. And we moved back here to be uh, closer to family right. and to help provide uh, good uh, quality care to everyone in, in the area of West Virginia. I think it's definitely needed. Awesome. So how long have you been a surgeon for? Uh, I've been a surgeon for a little over five years. Five years? Yep. Awesome. So it's been okay. great. Well, we're so glad to have you on the show. Um, again, always learning from doctors' expertise. Um, and I think it was really interesting to hear about the, the robot no. surgery. So glad that, you know, people know that is an option. Um, is that extra cost, just out of curiosity? Uh, extra costs uh, to the patient, no. Uh, we're usually able to negotiate with the insurance companies and get things covered. Okay. Well, doctor, thanks so much again. <laughs> and guys, me. have a great day.